Hi, welcome to Banita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a delicious no-bake blueberry cheesecake. And I'm excited to make this recipe today because again I get to use my frozen blueberries. Only until I can get some fresh ones I'm going to use all of them up. So if you're interested in sticking around, seeing how this cake is put together, let's get started. I'm going to be using four cups of frozen blueberries and these were picked here in Newfoundland and Arbador and you don't need to let them thaw, just toss them on in, I'll get the rest of those. And I'm going to be using a half a cup of white sugar but you can use sugar of choice. I'm going to also be putting in there half a cup of cold water and a quarter of a cup of cornstarch. Toss it on in. So I'm just going to stir all of those ingredients in here with the blueberries. You could use fresh blueberries if they are in season where you, where you are now. And also what I'm going to do is put this on our stove top. We're going to get it boiling on a medium heat. I want to make a nice blueberry filling for this dessert. So I'm going to get going on that. So while we're waiting for our blueberries to start to boil, we're going to be putting in two cups of grain crumbs into a bowl and a half a cup of melted butter. I kind of got it partly melted here, but just toss that on in and now we're going to mix it through. So we're going to toss that on through, just mixing all the butter in with the crumbs grain crumbs and that's all you need to do there. With the smell of the warm butter gone into those grain crumbs I, I just love the smell of it I can just eat this mm. like it is I'm just saying to Raymond. Yeah. Now what we're going to do here I got a nine inch spring form pan and I cut a round piece of parchment paper to put in the middle. I'm not going to pop out the bottom right now so I got it locked in with the lock I'm going to put the parchment paper in the bottom and what I'm going to do is put three quarters of this grain cracker crumb mixture into the bottom. I'll show you that. So pretty much all I'm going to do there is toss into the bottom of this nine inch spring form pen three quarters of leaving about a quarter of the graham cracker crumbs mixture there to use so I'm going to flatten this down now with the back of my hand and form it around on the bottom of this pan and that's all you need to do there so back here to the blueberries. What we need to do is let it boil until it starts to cook and you'll see the cornstarch has got uh, the filling thickened. If you need to add more cornstarch certainly you can do that but I'll show you that stage when it gets to it. That's all you need to do there. So this is coming along nice now. So what I'm going to be doing is mixing up the cream cheese filling for our blueberry cheesecake, of course. So I got two packages of um, cream cheese and they're 250 grams a package. I got a tub of Cool Whip and it's about a liter. And I got a cup and a, and a quarter of confectionery sugar. So we'll get whipping up our cream cheese first and two teaspoonfuls of vanilla. So let's start whipping. So before you like take out your, your cream cheese a little bit to get it soft a little. So probably maybe an hour before you're ready to uh, put it all together. And the same thing goes um, if you're using frozen blueberries, take them out and just let them rest a little bit, not necessarily thaw. Um, if you froze your Cool Whip, take that out and let that go to room temperature as well. So let's start blending up our cream cheese. So that's all you need to do there. We're going to be putting in our vanilla and that's two teaspoonfuls. I'm going to mix that through. So 
So now all I need to do now is to slowly add in the confectionery sugar because I don't want for it to go up over Raymond. So I'm going to... <laughs> <laughs> I certainly appreciate that. I'm going to beat that through like a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit safer yeah. and, uh, and I'll show you that. So pretty much that's all you need to do. Once you've got it all blended in through, um, then we'll start adding in our cool or a cool whip but I'm going to show you what the blueberry stage is first so when your blueberries are all cooked and thickened that's all you need you just need that consistency but now this comes the fun part you got to let this come to room temperature so making it in advance would be certainly better in your favor if you're looking to quick cool it down just put put it into a bowl and on to a bowl of ice cubes so we'll get back to our our cream cheese so what we're going to do is put the full liter of cool whip in in with the cream cheese and the confectionery sugar and as you can see off to the side we got our uh, our blueberry filling put on some ice to cool down of course I don't have any extra made but if you want to make extra that's what you'll do I'll, I'll take your cool whip bowl <laughs> if you want for me to get that out of your way oh I'm yeah. sure you will no I'm gonna <laughs> scrape that out thank you <laughs> <laughs> I'm still laughing at Raymond. <laughs> uh, he's, he's reaching for that cool whip container. I just thought I'd do your favor and I'll, I'll Clean wash it. that container for you. Oh yeah, he'll wash that container out and you know it, right? So just mix those, uh, all those ingredients together now just until it's blended. And that's all you need to do there. Of course, I'll, I'll get that uh, cream cheese off of those uh, little spoons. But for now, what I'm going to do is put this into the fridge, keep it cool, and I'm going to let these berries, berry filling, cool down. Sure, and <laughs> probably I should taste it just in case before you cool it down. Uh, Raymond's going to have a little, a little taste here now. Oh, thank yes, you. Yes, you know. And that's all we need to do there. And then we'll get assembling this delicious cheesecake. Okay, now we come to the stage that we've all been waiting for, layering this cheesecake. So what we're going to do, we're going to work with the blueberry filling first, putting it into the bottom of the crust, um, or on top of the crust, and then we're going to layer it, alternating. And I'm going to show you that. Okay, so what we're going to do first is start with putting about a quarter of this mixture blueberry filling on the bottom and just spread it out evenly so just moving it to closer to the sides so that you can see those blueberries as well then we're going to use a quarter of the cream cheese filling and put down on top of that and we're going to spread that out Spreading it out evenly again onto the bottom. Don't, no worries if you're going to get a little bit of the, the blue in there onto it. But I mean, if you can spare it without getting any on, that's fine. And just till you get it all evenly put out and around the sides, like this. So after you've got that spread out like that, then you're back to the blueberries. And we're going to spread out another layer of this but what we're going to do leave just a scoop of the blueberries in there because we will need to use that for the very last I don't need a big lot but just a small amount just look how nice those this blueberry filling is it's just the right consistency and it tastes amazing I'm sure <laughs> I'll give Raymond the spoon after and he could he can take care of that one. I love my blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, and that's all you need to do there. And then back to the cream cheese filling and put the remainder of that on top. So I'm just going to smooth out this much first. Now just look how delicious this 
blueberry cheesecake looks. Now it's a no baker. We don't need to bake this. This one is going to be chilled in the fridge. And if you want to make this for a special occasion, probably do it the day before. Don't wait until the day of because you want for it to set. And that can take anywhere from two to three hours to overnight, depending on. I bet you any money, like with somebody's birthday coming up, instead of a regular birthday cake. I bet you something like this would be nice. Like, I'm not throwing any hints or anything, but, you know, <laughs> I think, you know, a few candles on the piece of that. It would be amazing. You know, it would be. <laughs> Just an idea. Good point, Raymond, and, and I don't think your birthday is coming anytime soon. <laughs> no. no. He's not asking for a blueberry no. cheesecake. And that's all you need to do there. Good as it gets. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to use a cookie cutter and put on top, not necessarily because we're going to be cutting out cookies, it's just because I want to put in some blueberry filling. Sorry about squeaking, everyone. Um, and I'm going to put that in the middle there because now what we're going to do is take the rest of this graham cracker mixture and put around the sides like this. How good is that? Just toss all of the graham cracker crumbs off to the sides like this, evenly spreading it over the blueberry cream cheese cake. And then you're going to release that cookie cutter like this. And then that's going to be in the middle. Now, how good is that? Don't that make you want to go out and make yours? Too good to eat. So that's all it is to making this no-bake blueberry cheesecake. So now what we need to do is put it in the fridge to chill. And at least for two to three hours, depending on when you need it, of course. But if you want it for a special occasion and you want for it to be already set, do it the night before or the day before and let it just stay in the fridge until you're ready to use it or to serve it. So let's just put it in the fridge now and I'll show you what it looks like when it's chilled. Our blueberry cheesecake is now set. As you can see, this is the spring release. I'm going to release it now, take it out of its casing, and then we're going to show you what it looks like. So after you've released it from its clip, and slowly slide it up. If you need to run your knife around the sides, that's okay. Just slowly take it up through like this, and that's it, your blueberry cheesecake. Now look how tasty this delicious blueberry cheesecake is. So this has only been a couple of hours for me. Preferably, I would like to leave it overnight so that I make sure it's nice and set. I'm going to attempt to cut out a nice piece and show you what that looks like. But if you want to make it the night before, that would be a lot better. Now I can't wait to show you what this cake looks like. And now we'll take out a nice piece. Let's show you this delicious cake. Now just look at all of these delicious layers. No bake blueberry cheesecake. Delicious. I hope I got you guys just interested to go and make your cheesecake, blueberry cheesecake here today. I'm going to add a little taste here now. Raymond is just waiting over there, you know, this is difficult for him. And all of these delicious layers. Mm. Drop the fork. Oh, I dropped a spoon, delicious. <laughs> but you can eat it with a fork too. Delicious. I hope you're excited about making yours here today. And if you are, the recipe is going to be posted in under this link here on YouTube. We're also going to provide it for you on our website, www.bonitaskitchen.com, and as well on our Facebook page. And a 
again like Raymond was saying earlier in this episode that this will be a great birthday cake no it's not his birthday but no. I'm sure this is what I'm gonna have to make him when his birthday do roll around I, get you. I can see that and again this blueberry filling and all of these layers together is not sweet it's absolutely delicious I don't want to take any more of your time your time is precious we thank you for joining us here today on Bonita's kitchen for a no-bake blueberry cheesecake so from our kitchen to yours thank you for joining us and you have a wonderful day and don't forget to join us again on